Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Just a quick update on the unsettled weather which is occurring across the UK uh, right now and will continue. Um, and as you can see, it's actually potentially significant. We've got some warnings out from the Met Office here. A yellow rain warning is across parts of uh, northeast Scotland and then more southern uh, central and then into eastern Scotland there. And that's from about 8 o'clock today till 8 a.m. tomorrow. Uh, and you can see possibility of some heavy and persistent rain with 15 to 20 millimetres widely and then locally 40 to 60 millimetres, especially across higher ground. So that's enough to cause some flooding issues there. And then another rain warning, which is already in force uh, from 12 o'clock until 9 o'clock today across parts of Northern Ireland. And you can see that we're going to have spells of rain, uh, which are going to become heavy and persistent with 15 to 30 millimetres of rain widely and then some spots seeing 30 to 60 millimetres of rain. And just looking at the radar, you can clearly see uh, why that warning is in force. A very large area of heavy rain, which is fairly slow moving, especially as it kind of rotates around this uh, low on the north side, you can see there. So some of these areas will see a fair uh, amount of rainfall, could lead to some flooding and travel disruption and that kind of thing. Sorry, that kind of thing. And then also you can see heavy rain is currently now moving into southern England and southern Wales there. Not really many much disruption from the rain, not much flooding, but possibility of some surface water uh, and that kind of thing, and just generally unpleasant weather. And then the perhaps more significant kind of risk is the wind risk, which will start tonight and then uh, go into kind of tomorrow morning, especially across the southeast on Saturday. And then you can see we've already got a wind warning out, which is going to last until seven o'clock, which covers uh, West Wales, parts of southwest England and then the far southwest there and you can see the possibility of 35 to 45 mile an hour gusts quite widely and then 50 mile an hour gusts over some coast and hills for a time this afternoon as you can see there and then the more significant warning is this uh, second yellow wind warning which is separate from the first one uh, comes into force at 9am and then finishes at pretty much midnight uh, and you can see tomorrow and you can see that a deep area of low pressure will affect parts of the UK, uh, gusts widely of 40 miles per hour and perhaps up to 55 miles per hour even in land during the daytime especially with showers uh, and then hills and coasts uh, particularly across east and southeast England likely see the strongest winds uh, and this is particularly interesting because the trees are in full leaf which means there's more surface area uh, for the winds to kind of act on so uh, there's more tree branches fall down possibly more trees being uprooted that kind of thing even if the winds aren't quite as, as strong as what you see in the winter time uh, the impacts may be uh, relatively similar and i mean i don't think it's out of the question for an amber warning to be introduced here but i don't think it's particularly likely um but some perhaps quite strong winds and if we look at the ukv model output here this is on the weatheroutlook.com you can see there's our rainy spell which i was talking about some pretty heavy rain across Northern Ireland, definitely you can see why that uh, Met Office have issued a warning and then same across parts of Scotland. And then going through Saturday morning you can see pretty showery, uh, scattered showers, possibly thunderstorms especially further north. And if you take a look at the wind forecast, you can really see why that wind warning has been issued. Uh, initially you get those fairly strong gusts across parts of the southwest, and then that kind of shifts further east and then by kind of the afternoon you can see pretty strong wind gusts actually across southeast England, uh, perhaps up to 60 mile an hour very locally under those uh, showers. And to be honest, it's quite windy further north as well, 40 to 50 mile an hour, especially across higher ground. But a fairly gusty day. But I mean, the thing that's interesting in this case is that these winds forecast here actually look like they could be stronger than anything that the inland areas of southern and southeast England saw through the whole of last autumn and winter because that was pretty unstormy and un unwindy period so these could be the strongest winds in quite a while which is unusual considering it's july but also the trees are in full leaf like i said so uh, the chance for some enhanced travel disruption trees falling down some tree damage that kind of thing and also just a blustery day and you can see actually those winds do become fairly strong widely into the 50s across the south coast into the southeast england by the afternoon and then that clears towards um the east by the evening Still fairly windy, 50 miles an hour uh, or so uh, in eastern England, and then kind of stays fairly windy through the evening, and then Sunday is a lot less windy. Uh, also pretty windy across parts of Ireland, as you can see there, 50 mile an hour gusts on the coasts. Uh, but that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye.